Okay. I am colleague of uh, Dr. Korotkov, mm -hmm. and uh, my field is in biofield, biophysics, biophysics. and engineering, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Ayurveda. Ayurveda too, mm -hmm. okay. And Ayurveda, so we combine, so my uh, participation with dear uh, Dr. Korotkov has been in multiple, multiple layers. Okay. Mm. From not only scientific uh, exploration, but uh, also more in deeper principles of how practice of wellness and well-being can be enhanced. Okay. And how this wonderful device of dear uh, Korotkov, Dr. Korotkov, mm -hmm. is uh, uh, seamlessly integrating to not only fields of medicine, mm -hmm. but most important in consciousness studies. This is not the only device that he developed. He has many of them, no? He has, he has many devices. This particular device is called a EPC GDB Pro. Okay. Which means that not only uh, we can capture data of all human subjects, by capturing data from the fingertips, mm -hmm. but also we can do studies on various bio biofield systems. Ah, okay. So other biological systems like study of water, study of soil, study of plants, study of fruit, study of gemstones. Wow. Uh, and then not only that, we can also study all the various elements. And we know we have five elements. Uh, the, the basic five elements, exactly. so we can, uh, with sensors, we can study influence of environment and how human consciousness can uh, transform physical reality. Okay. So we can do that in study of spaces, as an example. Okay. Mm. The room where we are, it, it yes. could be inside, outside, anywhere. It could be inside, outside. Of course, when we are outside, then we take in other factors. Uh -huh. because of environment, wind, and so all those other considerations. But as an example, uh, let us say for instance, like in India, as an example, we have what we call Vastu. 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 So Vastu is uh, similar to how in Chinese practice it's called Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Ah, okay. Okay, mm. yeah, the environments and the colors and the energy of the colors and the uh, position of things in, in the rooms. Yes, uh -huh. yes. And if that's water or the orientation of the room, that kind of stuff? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So we can see exactly how uh, even a site location, mm -hmm. whether this site location would be conducive for building. Uh, and if not, what could be some of the characteristics that is present in the land? Uh -huh. So we can study also the soil, and when we study factors like the soil environment, we study important parameters. Mm. In principle, we know that in systems where there is inertia, mm -hmm. so inertia causes uh, oftentimes a lot of uh, static. Uh, so energy is c created, but also a lot of energy is dissipated. Okay. So there is leakage of energy, and leakage of energy raises the inertia of a system, which in turn also increases entropy of a system. Okay. I mean, that's a simplistic uh, approach. Mm -hmm. But it is a very um, practical approach to how we can not only study information of human energy field, but also we can study like this energy of environment. Okay. We can do the same when we do study of plants. Mm -hmm. study of soil. Uh, example, we come from cultures where we are always uh, very connected to nature uh, and we always do invocations mm -hmm. in the presence of nature so that we shift, transform its informational characteristic. So let us take a simple example. We get a soil. So let's say we are doing a ceremony in a land where there is going to be a house that is going to be built, hmm? or a uh, office building, a doctor's office, or a healing center. So we can get a sample of the soil, study that sample right here with this device, mm -hmm. capture data, and then after we capture the data, then we analyze the data in a software that is called scientific laboratory software. Okay. Hmm? So in the scientific laboratory software, we can obtain 
many parameters. So we can look at one of the parameters that uh, looks at what we call area. Okay. And area is like saying, what is the level of number of pixels around the soil sample? Okay. Because every, every system, every biological system, is induced by cascade of photons and electrons. Mm -hmm. So when you have photons and electrons that cascade inside here, that goes through a CCD camera and it comes and through the software we are able to look at the data. Then we evaluate the data. Okay. So then, uh, so we get a baseline of, so now we are talking about soil, so we get a baseline of the soil. Okay. Then we do our ceremony as an example with all the invocations and blessing of the land, blessing of all this space around, then we gather another soil sample and we study this soil sample. Now we can observe same characteristics, so we talked about area. So area is number of pixels around the, uh, uh, the field of the soil. Mm -hmm. Then we can also observe another, car another uh, parameter that is called intensity. And intensity is what is the level of biophoton glow okay. of this particular arena hmm, of the soil. Then higher the biophoton glow, we know that there is information that has been received and it is displaying that information to us. Mm -hmm. Then entropy. So entropy can is related to change of state. Okay. So when uh, in, uh, in areas or in situations where we have coherence of activity, so which means that a collective group of people have come together to uh, influence a particular system, mm -hmm. then we come as collective mind. Okay. Mm. So when we come together as a collective mind, that information is received by the elementals. Okay. And so we can observe what goes on in entropy. So if there is decrease of entropy, so now we make a reference that we are lowering the amount of resistance in a space. Okay. So it is becoming more freer, more expressive. Mm -hmm. So there is less inertia. Ah, okay. Then another very important parameter is what we call spatial fractality. Mm -hmm. uh, and fractality is actually a multi-dimensional parameter because uh, you've heard of uh, fractal geometries. Yes. Uh, yeah, Bruce Lipton mentioned that. Yeah. Bruce Lipton mm -hmm. talks about that. Now it is also very, very clearly observed that in uh, some of the processes of uh, uh, deferred developments in higher quantum levels. Mm -hmm. So now we are going stronger into what we would make reference as unified field theories mm -hmm. and unified field developments.